Hi all and welcome to this League 3A in the Quarantine League. Uh, we are following the English chess players. I'm joined by GM John Ems and uh, we've got a, a strong team tonight. I'm going to share my screen. Um, and this is the English chess players. Uh, so at the top we have Atomrod, who you will all know as Grandmaster Keith Arkell. Um, hi, Stanbad, how are you? Uh, we have Theo Cowrie, his whimsical jam. Surrey Cat, we have Stanley Badachoni, who is Stanbad. David Wilson has just joined. Um, Drac Pete, we have Chess Pizza UK. Man, we have Henny Penny. Um, Greenback is Ben Graff. We have M. Sosinski, Luke Owen, Necroscope, Della Quarters, Danny Rosenbaum. We have Ocelot and we have Manch 007. And we quite often get players who join right just before the start. Indeed, we've got one more. Um, GRL77, who I should know who that is and I have temporarily forgotten. Um, yeah, and it's starting in just one minute time. So we're up to... Um, Second place in the league, the regulars will have, um, have it before. Um, what happens normally is the top three that are pr promoted, but because we're up to Division 3A, it's just the team that goes up to League Division 2, because there's only like one um, one division at Division 2. There's Division 1, 2, and then it splits into like 3A, 3B, 3C. Uh, so top one gets promoted, bottom three get relegated. Um, and we decide, it's, it's all decided tonight. So it's an arena, three minutes and two seconds um, for one hour 40. And at the end of that time, uh, we will know. Now, have we just lost, uh, we've lost, lost Aston Rod, but I think be back he sometimes steps out for the first game and then and then appears back again and we are expecting also to be joined by Matthew Sadler after about half an hour he's at the moment eating dinner and drinking wine uh, so we'll have to see how his play is affected by that right right John let's we see should we see um GRL 77 we're off we're off okay so it looked like, uh, okay, some Bishop Swap with Trompovsky. Yes. And uh, is it, what's the time limit? Is it three minutes plus two? Yes. It's three minutes and two plus seconds. Two, yeah. Uh -huh. so if you do choose to berserk, then you don't get that increment. So you'd have That's one. That's right. Yeah. So this is a really solid line, actually, for white, isn't it? It really looks really very solid, I have yeah, to it say. Does, yeah. The trouble for black is that black doesn't really have any reasonable pawn breaks. He's got a solid position, but uh, pawn breaks don't really help black. Whereas white can white can aim for this move c4. Ah, uh, yeah. it's looking like black. Oh, it was looking to me like black was trying for f4, but no, he's yeah f4 if he can get in, but he just can't get it in, I guess. So, and black's just really solid, of course. I mean, I guess what we'll try and yeah, knight e4. Okay, so that's quite a good idea. So if white swaps, he can take with the f pawn. Um, yeah. But we could just leave it, I and mean, we could just go knights um, to a queen c2 and knight c3. Yeah, and just build up on that. And yeah, well, yeah, we're, yeah, exactly. Yeah, we'll try and get... Um, oh, maybe Black's threatening to win a pawn, though, with knight takes d2. That's a pretty simple threat. Ah, let's see. Yeah. So knight takes, yeah. takes, and then just take here. Yeah. That is a threat, and white has to do something about that. Okay, and white does see uh -huh. Right. Do you like the move c5 as an idea, kind of? Um, it's sort of like it's it's always tricky to know exactly. At least, but what at least the good news in the blitz game though, White has a really obvious plan now. Um, I mean, normally the problem with C five is it, it takes attention from the center and then Black can break with E five, but Black doesn't have an E pawn here, yeah. So it's still difficult to see how Black actually yeah, yeah. what Black does. But I guess what Black should probably do is try and go for just do something on the king side. Maybe just G five and F four, just go for it somehow. Um, so you see Black attacking. Yeah, um, so, so whereas White's is quite straightforward. Oh, maybe, oh, no, yeah, that's a good move. He wants to go h4 to sort of soften White's king side. Would you kind Just, of defend like that? Yes, but yeah, maybe. But then Black could consider g5. It's Ooh. double edged. But the, the point yeah. is that Black has got all his pieces on the king side. So, it, you know, if you can take yeah. with the recapture with the queen, and yeah, I reckon g5 now, and we'll see what. Uh, well, that's probably. 
I mean, well, it's still double, obviously double edged because White gets the F four square for the night, I guess. But you, you feel like Black has he got any good preparation moves before he does G five? That's the question. What would you do? Maybe the Queen out to connect the rooks? Yeah, and then G six, King G seven, G five. It's not really helping a great deal. He's gone for it. Oh, it's yeah. happened. Yes. Yeah, I think that's the best option for Black. And now maybe White should just. I mean, H four was coming, isn't it? Yeah, maybe. What? What if you could do that to stop it? You could. In fact, H maybe H four isn't quite a threat because of Knight F three. So you could go Knight F four first, yeah. Yeah. Knight F four, then H four is met by Knight F three. And if he takes on F four with the bishop, we take with the E pawn, and then go Knight F three anyway. Yeah. And that stops everything, I think. However, Knight F four, Knight takes D two, followed by H four. Not that. Yeah, get yeah. Maybe Black should just take on Knight on D two, and then play H four. Yeah, undermining. Yeah, so maybe Knight F three is better than Knight F four. Yeah. Yeah. Queen somewhere, maybe H six or F six. It's funny because Black's attacking, but Black does have like a a um, weaker pawn structure with these. Uh, yes, exactly. Yeah. yeah. He's he's kind of banking that he can get h4 in. If he can't get h4 in, then white should slowly sort of take over. Queen g4. So knight f4, I think, now. This is the move I want to play. Oh, knight c3. Oh, knight, yeah, knight c3 is nothing. Don't have to worry about that. I guess can black just go king h8 and we'll oh, just double up on the g rook g8 yeah and what's yeah. white actually going to do next move are we going to go i mean we could go king h2 and then oh, bishop h3 well, we oh, we've got, yeah we've got bishop h3 straight away in fact king g king g7 bishop h3 would that just trap the queen oh that would be funny <laughs> yeah so maybe not yeah keep that g7 square actually bishop h3 is a good resource to have so it, it, it black might feel obliged to take on f4 yeah. Oh, he's got it. He's got it there now. Go. Will White, Will White play this? Has Black just <laughs> Black just self made Has the queen? Black just lost. Oh, he's got knight c three though. He's got knight c three as an option. Uh, but even so, bishop takes g four, knight takes d one, bishop takes h five or something. Or that's definitely good for White, isn't it? Uh, um, yeah. At least winning a pawn, maybe a piece. It's okay, but we've got to play bishop h three. Is that? I mean, I don't see anything. Do you against bishop h three? Ah. Prefer to swap our bishop for the queen. Yeah. Still, if those queens come off, this that h pawn still looks a bit weird. Sure. Yeah. Black could try queen. Yeah. Oh. Five. Queen g five. Yeah. yeah. Um. So yeah, swap queens. I definitely prefer. White still got a much better position. But he's, we, there's not much time left now, so it's going to get random, isn't it? It is going to get random, which will be funny. But Black's thinking a bit too long, I think, about this decision. Should yeah. I just either just swap queens immediately or go queen g5 immediately? <laughs> <laughs> you know, bishop d8. Oh, okay. We could take on h5, couldn't we? Uh, yeah, that's actually, yeah. Bishop d8 is quite an interesting move, actually. Uh, it hits this knight. Bishop f3 we could do as well. Probably that's, that's, that's quite a good move, actually, yeah, Bishop d8. Because, I mean, basically, maybe black, the h5 pawn's kind of um, useless for black, and he may be able to use the h file. I see, yeah. I'm king up to h6. Yeah. So, oh, it's not so clear now. Bishop f4 is <laughs> swapped, and knight yeah. f4, yeah. Okay, that's reasonable. But black could take on h4 and maybe... Uh, still, still white, still white's better, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And black's got very little time. So couldn't white swap off all the pieces now, like bishop? Yeah, takes... exactly. Yeah, I mean that would just be good for white. And then king g two or something, yeah. Yeah. And meet, and meet g, sure. meet g three with f three. But now maybe black can go g three and mix things up. Oh yes. Still good for white, but mainly because he's got a good time. Yeah, this the position now doesn't feel so clear anymore. Yeah. 
Knight H4 is not necessarily a threat, though, because of Rook H3. Oh, that's a good move. Knight H4, um, Rook F6 check. Rook F7. Okay. And then the other Rook to F1. Great. Yeah. Rook F6 check. Okay. What do you think? It's still good for white, right? Still good for white, yeah. But he's got to be careful. Don't, don't take on B7 because that allows mate in two. Oh. Yeah. I was about to suggest it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, it's okay now. King Thank sneaks goodness. out, yeah. But okay, so someone's going to win on time, I guess. Two seconds. There's the two seconds. Right second, so. Yeah. King F2? King F4? Oh, that's. Oh, dangerous. Hello, hello, dangerous, but probably okay. Uh, ooh, I didn't like. Yeah, not. You don't want to do that with very little time left. Maybe back to G3. Okay, queenside pawns are coming off. Oh, oh that's that's, that was a good move. That's a good move. And then we've got check. Yeah. And then rookie seven. Should oh, over. very nice. We're going to win the knight. And then that C pawn should be. This should be. Oh, okay. Going for mate. Just yeah. Mind, mind the stalemates. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. Well, good game there by. Uh, and yeah, GRL seven, very nice. That was a very good game to start with, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay, let's see. Um, is is Keith playing? Yes. Let's okay. Oh, an end game. An end game. What a surprise. <laughs> uh, so. Okay, he's two pawns up. The sh yeah. He has one already he's against one, Alakine yeah. Dracula. Well done, Keith. Okay, uh, let's see. Green Becker. Okay, this looks exciting. Although, oh, wow. I was going to say really good for black, but black's king's not that safe, is it? Yeah, it's true. And um, so white is Fide Master Moran 29 and has white is Berserk. So white has to finish in these 29 seconds, but it does look like it's, it's quite a... <sighs> So, it? yeah, so rook d8 maybe, because queen takes rook and queen d7, they're both threats, yeah? Yeah. Rook d8 and then, oh, queen, oh, okay, rook, oh, okay, that's that's kind of a relief. He did, can we not go queen e2 now? Oh, queen e2, queen c5, check. Hmm. check. Yeah, and then queen e7 I'm nervous about. But we can Ooh. go rook f8 and cover everything, yeah? Yeah. Cover everything, rook f8. <laughs> and then h5, h5 and rook h7. Oh, very nice, very nice. No, but yeah. I, the trouble with, trouble with rook f8 is this horrible move, rook takes f5. Oh, it's done it instantly. Yeah. But can't we, but we can't go queen c1. No, we can't. This is winning for white, basically. That's a really good move. Oh. <laughs> yes, mate. Yeah. <sighs> Removing the good, good, good example of removing the defender. Yes, true. true. Two different defenders, both. Yeah. Nice. Hmm. So black was that wasn't quite as solid. That uh, that's. No. <laughs> <laughs> rook f one was like a really deep move because he must be. He probably thought about this idea. Rook takes f five. He must have worked it out. Yeah. Okay. Right. Let's see. Now, Nasr is not in standby playing. Yes. Let's see standby. Okay. Okay, Sambad is berserking. Okay, so uh Oh it's visually very nice. Exchange up, yeah? Exchange up, yes. King H six. I was looking at Rook F eight check with the sort of um earlier with the sort of uh, interference theme. But this is just better. This okay. is just much better. Yeah. King h6 was the only chance there, wasn't it? Yeah. And, and then, then queen, d, queen d2 um, and then um, g5. I mean, probably it's mate, but... Mm. Yeah. Very okay. Good. That was very convincing. Okay. So let's see who else we have. Sorry, cat. Aha. Uh -huh. What do you reckon? I was, I was going to ask you what I was going to play, but... Um... <laughs> It Grand Prix or closed, and it looks like they're closed. Luke sometimes plays it, doesn't he? The closed. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think he plays quite a lot of unusual things against the Sicilian Luke, doesn't he? 
Yeah. Don't go night G to night G two, whatever you do. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, night D ones. Night D one and C three is a good idea. It's funny this line, isn't it? Because basically, why it looks like why it goes backwards, doesn't it, for quite a long time, mm. and then and then yeah, and then you sort of spring out. And this idea, of Bishop H six. Having said that, it's still this is still fine for Black. So, if Black castles, do you think White will play? Um, sorry, Cut will play H four. Yeah, yeah, I quite like this type of position for White, swapping off that Bishop and then H four. Yeah, but you maybe could keep you maybe go H four immediately actually. The idea is that he stops black from eight playing eight. If he'd swap and then go h4, he goes h6. And okay. then h5, g5, and block it up. But if you go h4 now, that stops that plan. All right, we're looking for that. Yeah. We'll see which one you do. I think, I mean, he's done it. Yeah. Would you castle short in this position for white? Or um, keep your options open? Yeah, I don't think there's any rush, actually, at the moment. Yeah. I mean, probably I'll just go h5 next move. In which case, I'm probably not sure casting short. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and then, you know, I think we can just castle long, probably, or, or even just keep our king in the centre. Take that with the, um, the d pawn, I think. Gives us the open d file as well. Right, yeah, I can. I see why Black swap now. He wants to get his bishop on. Uh, yeah, bishop on g4. We could. Why could sort of. Why could play this more positionally now? And go knight e3. Yeah. Yeah, force and then the force, and then. force either the swap or or bishop retreats to a worse square. And then if he swaps, we can then we could then castle king. So I can go rook d1. That just looks pleasant. Very pleasant for white. Okay, and just build up on that weak. Yeah, d1. knight c4. You know. Yeah. True. We've still got h5 pawn break. We could castle queen side as well still, couldn't we? Yeah. Yeah, this is looking, unless I've missed something, this just looks really good for white now. Yeah, maybe castle queen side and then go h5. and But casting king side as well is ultra safe. The problem Black has that his knights really don't have many good places to go to. It's true, isn't it? This one's got that, really that new. Night, that knight on that that knight would far to prefer it much prefer to be on f six than e seven. And even this one, it's it's the c pawn's kind of yeah. stopping. Knight d five and queen h six is certainly possible. Okay, he's doing your plan of ganging. Yeah, I think knight d five last move was probably very good, but may, certainly maybe certainly now. And then, okay, that also looks good. He's got to go rook h eight surely now, yeah. Yeah. And maybe we swap swap rooks and then take on d6 if he takes with the rook. Oh, okay. This one's yeah. Point. And if he takes with the king and queen h6, I guess. Yeah. That and then some that sort of, yeah. Be. Oh, he didn't That's do that. Do, right? Yeah, or queen f6 check is really dangerous, though, isn't it? How's black going to defend against that? I don't see a well, it's going to have mm, probably going to have to go. It's probably going to have to go rook d f eight, and then he's, yeah, okay. He's done it. So now I suppose we could take on h eight, and he has to give yeah the queen the access to one or other of these squares. Yeah, it looks rook takes f eight. Rook takes f eight. Queen f six check. King g eight. And then we just need to get that bishop on that a2 to g8 diagonal. And we can just go rook takes d6 then. That's just completely winning. Sorry, yeah. So he must take with the king here. Because if he takes uh, with the rook, yeah. 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 So he's got to, got to take, he's got to take with the king. And then how do we win? I think he put the queen in check first. Check king g8. How Black just offered a draw. That's optimistic. That is, that's cheeky, isn't it? Very cheeky. Mm. Um. Oh wait, wait a minute. Rook eight. Rook. Rook h one check is 
King G8, Knight F6 check is, is winning because then we go Rook H7 check and Bishop H3 check if he comes to E6. But oh, Rook, yeah, yeah. Uh, Rook H1 check will go King G7. Where's, where's the win there? There must be a win, surely. Oh, oops. Rook here. King here. Yeah, you, yeah there must. So would queen, it... queen H6, King F7. He's going to sneak out. We've got to be careful we don't just lose on time. Think, try oh, to yes. win. Yes, 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 yes. That's always a danger. Oh, wait a minute. Oh. <laughs> no. He's got, yeah, we've got to, yeah he's, he's, he's got this idea of sneaking out to... Um, oh, come on, sorry, cat. He's done it. Yeah. King G7's happened. Queen H6, King there. This is, yeah, sneaking out. F4, nice. yeah. Ooh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Takes. So, okay. Yeah, we need, needed to do, sorry, cat needs to do something quickly there, and he's done it. F4, at least that sort of puts the onus black on, back on black now, doesn't it? Yeah. To make a move. Yeah, okay. So 16 seconds left. Um, I think F5. You should just go F5 and open up the bishop. Oh, some, yeah, yeah, some, something's going to work then, isn't it, basically? <laughs> yeah, it's one queen g7. So I suppose he's threatening now a knight in on f6, which must be quite Oh, nice. yes, he is. Yeah, that's good. That's good. So, yeah, oh, wow, that's very good. Yeah. Ooh, and he can do it. Knight but f6. Yeah. Away, you got queen takes f8 check. Yeah, knight f6 check was winning there, wasn't it? Because you had rook h8 after that as well. Yeah. So you can still do it. Knight yeah, f6. Go. go on, cat. Sorry, cat. Yeah, should, yeah, it would have been sli slightly stronger last move because now Black's got a little bit of counterplay. Yeah, yeah. Because we wanted to go Ooh, rook h8 and bishop rook h8 and bishop h3 would be winning basically. Yeah. Oh, very nice. Yeah. Yeah, but it still probably should be winning. But he can go. He can move his queen. as king's got c7, so it's not completely clear now. This is a, <laughs> this is. Oh wow! Well, this with eight seconds left as well. Oh no, he's got queenie one check now, and it's it's check city, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and he can actually take the bishop. I'm not sure how White's what White's doing then. Oh, he's got yeah. We're going to win on time. Okay. Is he going to per perpetual it? He's going to be perpetual. Oh, he's gone for it. He could have gone ninety <laughs> four check. <laughs> I like it when they do this. They repeat once and then then go for it when they've when they've got about two seconds left on the clock. <laughs> Oh, oh, okay. This is game. Okay, right. Okay. They're both game on. Game on. Game on. They're both they're both building up time as well. <laughs> queen C three. Queen. A, oh, queen. Oh, yeah. It still looks. It still looks perpetually, doesn't it? Yeah. Queen. Queen G one's just. Oh, yeah. Black's got a perpetual hair, hasn't he? Yeah. Wow, oh, that was an amazing game. <laughs> that was a really good game, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So now we have, um, I want to, let's do, Will Sonia. Okay. So Will Sonia's got the white pieces here, yeah? Yes, Will Sonia's white. It looks, um, quite, it looks quite pleasant for white. What was the opening, John? Um, have I got to get this? Um, you can guess in the notes, then I'll show it. Yeah, some sort of Sicilian. No. No, no it's, a, it's a modern banani. Okay. Should have guessed that because I played, I've played. Oh, it wasn't quite a modern banani. He didn't fianchetta to the bishop. Not quite sure what to call that then if they put the bishop on e7. It's not a snake, is it? Because the bishop goes I was to d6. I say that, yeah, is it a snake? No, that's where the bishop goes to d6, then to c7, then to a5. So, yeah. So go back to the the position we have now. I was just on B four. That's really good. Now, oh, I was I was hoping to go A five. A five would be a brilliant strategic move. Okay. A really good, a typical idea of like basically sort of just um, smashing opponent's pawn structure. Oh, right, because if Black tries to take that way, we've got this pawn. Well, we take the queen actually as well. But, well we've yeah. even got the queen. Yes. <laughs> so <laughs> basically, what? It, yeah, but the the whole structure collapses after A five. If they take on mm. A five, we take on C five. That's the point. Yeah. And then, um, yeah. But by, by um, okay. Yeah. 
So you took yeah. on C5. And they can't there. even go C4 either, because then we really can Yeah, exactly. Them. There's nothing. Yeah, exactly. That, that type of pawn yeah. break is just very nice. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, it's only went that way. Yeah. Oh, we well, just went. He just did a tactic anyway, which is even which is even better actually. Okay. Yeah. What if eight. queen queen takes? A eight is hanging. The bishop okay. has discovered yeah. attack. Yeah. Check. Yeah, but this is worse, I think, because um, aren't we going to win? Oh, bishop takes a eight. Is he going to go ninety four? That's no. Wilsonia has won already. Okay. Well done, Wilsonia. That's a nice tactic, wasn't it? That was very nice. Yeah. Okay. We did we see we seen Theo yet? No, I don't think we have. Let's see Theo. Okay. Uh, so Theo is black in this position. This looks like a King's Indian four pawns attack. Hi, Decoder. How are you? Hi, Wilsonia. Nice game just then. So, um, okay, that bishop on d4 is rather strong. It's a bit annoying. That's probably a good idea. Just get rid of it. it off. Yeah. Yeah. Now, okay. So I think, uh, so basically, I think, I wonder if White's idea is if takes, I think might, White might play the move F5. That's a typical sort of pawn sacrifice. Yeah. Strategic. Yeah. Because otherwise you're just giving up that E pawn, aren't you? Yeah. Exactly. Oh. Yeah. But could yeah. Queen, F, Queen, Queen F6 is nothing. Yeah. He's gone F5. That's... Gone F5. Yeah. And maybe, maybe F, maybe Black should. Black could consider playing, giving the pawn back to go e4, so that it opens up the queen and the knight to e5. Yeah, yeah. Um, so just this know. yeah, possibly yeah, because yeah, White's got a reasonably strong attack. I'm not quite sure how strong it is, but I suppose White's probably just going to take on g6. Also d6 as well. I lost a lot. Oh, d6 for White. Yeah, these are all ideas in this sort of um, sort of positional pawn sack. Okay, yeah, that's yeah. reasonable. The trouble is that bishop on b1 looks ah, a bit nasty now. But we'll see. Is there anything immediate? We can go knight f8 to defend. But you can see, see actually, white's got some nasty ideas. Yeah, and d6, knight d5. It's going to be difficult with everything. Mm. Could we block it off with this one, like you say? Yeah, possibly, yeah. Um, so what, queen c6? Yeah. Uh, queen g4. And then we have to defend our pawn with knight f8, maybe? maybe? Yeah. Re try and re-rack our knights, the other one's d7. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, yeah. Ooh, this is looking scary, though. It is, yeah. this At the moment, it's kind of like a model sort of pawn sacrifice game by white, but... Mm. Um, Let's see what we can do. Knight back to d7. Uh, we can't let f6 drop, can we? No. Okay, so knight f6, what are we can do against that? Are we sucking off? Queen. Mm. Yeah, it probably shouldn't work, but it might be. We might have chances to survive. Unless we're going to go queen b6 or something. Yeah, sacking. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to have to try and just grin and bear it now. Yeah. But it doesn't look great. Rook d6 check and rook b6. And I don't know. Yeah. Because it's not actually bad in material terms. It's just that those pieces are still the way. Yeah, we've we just got so many loose pieces in our king. It's all when you're a queen, not a queen down as such, but when your opponent's got a queen for a sort of material. You, you need to have a safe king. Mm. That's a, re a really key. You know, if our king was safe, like if we could just, if we could just move a couple of those queenside pawns to, to the king's side. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, you know, uh, then we wouldn't be so bad. It's just, yeah, every time a queen takes something, it's attacking another loose piece. Yeah. Um, so it's not going to be, it's going to be tricky. Yeah, that's a good move. We just put all up, put on, uh, get everything to the king's side, and just sort of. <laughs> just follow it. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, yeah. uh, we. How do we defend that one? Yeah, we can't. Yeah, knight c five. Okay. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Okay. That defends b seven as well. So queen d five and. Oh yeah, queen f seven is coming. Yeah. Yep. 
It's tricky. Yeah, we're going to have to play rook c8, aren't we, I guess? Queen f7. Oh, no, because that one goes. Yeah. I just try and put a king on h6 and hope for the best. Yeah. I don't hold out much hope, I guess. But we can try and go e4 and block out their bishop. Yes. Check G five. Probably just H four. H four is playing. Yes, we need to defend it with our. We need to use our other knight to defend it. No, we can't use the F eight knight because rook H seven mates. So we need to go. Um, oh. <laughs> yeah, we need to go knight E six. Yeah. Um. And just hope for the best somehow. Yeah. Um, He's giving himself the best chances, isn't he? he is, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Queen D3 threatens Rook H7 mate, but then we take on H4 and uh, again hope that there's no mate. I mean, there is a mate, I'm sure, but just hope the white doesn't find it. Hope the white doesn't. <laughs> yeah. So now we've got to take on H4, I guess. Unless we can go Rook C, unless we can do some. Can we do, we've got a check. We've got a check. Yeah. That's good. This is good good resilience. Yeah. Queen f five probably. Those knights, it's, uh, to be honest, it's always quite tricky when your opponent's got two knights defending their king. Mm. It's, it's so easy to just miss the, the squares. So uh knight f four. He's done it. Ooh. It's not mate yet. No. He's getting, yeah, it's kind of, the time's getting quite close. Mm. So, what's I going to do? Queen e4, yeah, that looks like a good move. Yeah. Should, can, we, can we get away with knight g6 now that the queen is blocking? It's not here. Yeah. He's done it. So, how's he, so rook f6. Now he's threatening um, to take, yeah? So we're going to go rook, c, rook c1, oh, yeah. uh, rook g8. Okay. Queen e5. Can we go... Um, well, we need some... Can we, oh, we, oh we, can, we can take on f4. That's annoying. But the game's still, still going on, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. The end game's going to be tricky. Yeah, he's done very well to get this far. Yeah, but he's, he's he has done really well to get this far, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but unfortunately, the knights are terrible, aren't they? Getting over the other side of the board to try and. <laughs> That's true. And look at these fast ones, yeah. Yeah. All right. Any... I'm going to. We're going to. We're going to. Should we move? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But the well defended theatre. Um. Okay, let's check in on Atomrod. Uh, he's not playing right this second. Stanbad. Ah, okay. Ooh, a double berserk there. Stanbad against soft chess. They're very similarly oh, rated. Yes. They are playing a very fast game. And uh, white's a pawn ahead, but black's got good sort of uh, centre co compensation. Ah, Decoder's playing. We'll check in on Decoder in a minute as well. <laughs> You kind of think, yeah. it, more or less, whatever the position is, it's going to be decided on time. Yeah, it's yeah. Black's played this quite well actually, but I'm just think. Okay, yeah. This is this is just good for Black, isn't it? With that past a pawn. Mm. Yeah. They're playing so quickly, it's tricky to see what was going on there. But that move, Black's A5 just worked really well. It just sort of, White's queen side pawns just sort of dropped off. But having said that, there's some, still some chances to... That bishop's yeah. quite strong. Even though we're two pawns down. Just G4 and get your king up to G3. Just play like we're not material down and just attack. 
because the black rook is poorly placed. Ooh, yeah. King g3 is a good move. Yeah, king g5 is a good move, though. And then go back. Oh, king f4, maybe? Or we should have just gone. Could have just gone back. Same way. <laughs> <laughs> Can we win this eight pawn? Oh, we couldn't go to f4 because we were king because f2 was hanging. My mistake, yeah. Yeah, now black's doing well. Because so he'll be able to check and go a2. He's two seconds down. <laughs> oh, of course. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. It's, yeah, because it is berserk, isn't it? This is berserk. So there's yeah, no yeah, so, so, yeah. So, okay. So anything could happen. Yeah. Anything can still happen here. Especially when you can just keep checking. I think White's going to win on time. I think White win on time here. Yeah. Yes. Standard. Well done. Well flagged. Well flagged there, Standard. <laughs> <laughs> he has played. He's played lots of these berserking games before. Now let's see if we can see Decoder. Um, here, this is Decoder. Okay. Um, okay. Oh, a tough one, Decoder. Uh, playing candidate master A.A. Ponte, who's a thousand points higher rated. Mm. Candidate master, yeah. Yeah. <coughs> Can we go king h7 and try and win there? Oh, win the knight because... Um... King g, yeah, knight f5 check, unfortunately, now. Yeah. Yeah, I was looking at king h7 instead. But uh, I suppose our knight on f6 was always dropping anyway. Ooh. All right, now what's going on here? Can we take this rook? We probably do have to, otherwise, we'll hold, otherwise yeah. we'll hold rook down. So we have to take okay, it. Decoder. Nice, decoder. Take that yeah. rook. Rook f1, king, then maybe king e5 and run to the hills. <laughs> <laughs> Charge with the king. Yeah, we can't really go back to g7 because then he takes on f7, yeah? Yes. Knight. Yeah. So Knight king forwards, forwards is the way. So White can now take on F7. Yeah. And we're going to get one of those end games again, aren't we? Where we're oh, no. Bang, 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 bang. Like against the Queen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Very tough to defend, Dakota. <laughs> yes. I would have thought, I mean, um, White didn't choose to berserk this game. <laughs> no. But probably just as well for White. White... Um, White's running been... on time as well. Yeah. So did either player berserk? Sorry, say again? Did either player berserk? No, because uh, no, you okay. can tell with the green lines. Oh, so it's the green lines. Yes, okay, yeah. So they've both spent quite a lot of time on this game then, actually. Yes. Is there some... Do we have a chance of some mate? Rook F2, knight E5 to F3. <laughs> <laughs> Knights in on it's not, it's not completely impossible. <laughs> no. Rook F2. Oh. It's too late for Rook F2 now. Yeah. yeah. This is a tricky one. All right, I think, yep. yeah, unlucky decoder. Um, nice game. Okay, now. How are we doing? Oh, we're in, we're in seventh, yeah? I don't know. We're in seventh, which is just outside the relegation zone, but it is actually very, very close. Well, it's now, quite close, yeah. Matthew's joined, so should we check in on him? Okay. He's um, berserking. He says he's going to berserk all the games. So he is black in this position. Um, what was the opening, Natasha? Uh, play? He's playing a lot of elephant gambits. So oh, maybe. maybe, yeah. Uh, is, is that the? That's not. Is that the? That's not the. It's, the, there, it's the other way round, isn't it? Is this what's this? It's not quite the, um, the, this, the. This is the England gambit, isn't it? England gambit. Yeah. yeah. And did his opponent fall for the mating trap? 
Oh, he doesn't play the Queen E7. He plays it. He plays it more sophisticatedly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The, this is the modern England gambit. Okay. <laughs> The We've modern. been drinking English wines, apparently. Ah. So maybe that's the link. Wait a minute, that looks quite some white. Black's winning material, yeah, I guess. Oh. Yeah. Oh, the queen, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, let's have a look. Though. Knight takes d4, bishop takes d4. We can go f3, can't he? Yeah. And maybe... Um, yeah. Yeah. So what do we do? Bishop b2? Or do we go... Yeah, oh, it's bishop b2. That looks... Or do we go bishop e4? Oh, he's done it. Yeah, bishop b2, yeah. Yeah, and then move the bishop back. Yeah, bishop e6. Okay, that looks good because now we can go for d4 and queen a5 and stuff. Yeah. 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 White should probably go rook b2 and double rooks. Oh, go for the queen. Oh, right. so, oh and yeah, yeah, we've got nice end game, haven't we? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, oh, well, basically we've just won our pawn back that we sacked on move two. <laughs> oh, move one, move one, actually, move one. Gonna be tough to win in forty seconds, though. It is gonna be tough, isn't it? Yeah. Especially after Bishop H four, so it was a sports sports move because I think Matthew was trying to get some sort of light square blockade with Bishop F five. Oh yeah. Yeah. But um. Yeah. If anything, White's maybe even got a slightly more pleasant position now. Yeah, because white's well, got a pair. Yeah, no, you can just leave that for leave that pin for the moment, although he hasn't. Okay, so can be eight. Oh, we've gone for direct attack. A four, maybe. This is quite exciting what White's done. Oh, he's mm -hmm. he's, he's forgotten about. He's not bothered by the attack anymore. Uh, <laughs> actually, that that worked out quite well. He, he sort of half heartedly went for the attack, didn't he? Yeah. And then he sort of went back, but now isn't this? I we swapped off one of the bishops now. Yeah, Matthew should be fairly happy with this. Now he wants to, he's gone back there again. So knight d5 will happen if if didn't swap. F5 keeps a pawn. Uh, he's done it. Yeah. yeah, black's definitely a bit better now. Pawn basically just it's, equal, it's like symmetrical on the king side and pawn up on the queen side. Yes. And white's taking quite a bit of time. Remember, though, that white gets the increment all the time. Oh, yeah. That's, oh, wow. That's really tricky then, isn't it? So Matthew's really got a power forward. Yeah, but white is playing very slowly. So white did on passant there. Yeah, okay. So. This is quite so Matthew's probably he might have about 30 moves left the rate he's playing, yeah. Yeah. But obviously White could do the same thing because if he he's always I don't got know. White might run out of time. Yeah. He's actually got a reasonable position, White still though, because that Yeah. He's got to take on E4 now though, hasn't he? Okay, yeah. Okay, this is starting to look very good for Matthew now. But he's got to, he's got to be, he's got to be aware of the where when White gets loads of checks with the rook, and that wastes time, then, doesn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay, that was. No, this will be. Yeah. This will be sure. time. Yeah. Yeah. Should <laughs> the two queens should do the trick? Very good. Very nice. Right. Well Matthew. All right. Who shall we see now? Um, did we see? We haven't seen our man thirty. Let's okay. Oh, so this is looked like some sort of. Um, I'm going to show the opening moves. What do you? What do you guess first? Of all? I think it's the sniper, the so-called sniper, probably. Yeah. Oh. Where, where okay. Black plays g6 and Bishop g7. No, it wasn't quite that. He didn't play c5 that early. It was just like a, oh, okay. But black played it. He did eventually play c5. 
Okay, I was thinking it might turn into so, a King's Indian or something. But yeah, well, it starts off as a hippo, doesn't it? <laughs> and then, but Black's, Black was a bit, bit adventurous with the C5 move. Because <laughs> <laughs> normally Black sort of goes E697, doesn't he, first? Um, I like um, I like Armand's H4, H5, I dare. Oh, so now he's gone all Benko. Okay, so white's pawn up. This is nice for our mom. Yeah, it does look quite nice, doesn't it? Black's going to hope to get some activity on the queen side, yeah? Oh, yes. We, we could play. I mean, I think our king probably should just sort of go to F1, G1 anyway. Um, we we could go bishop D. I quite like the idea of swapping off those bishops and going bishop D4. He's gone knight D4. That's, that's quite nice as well because the C6 square is tempting. Yeah. Our knight to C6. Are we gonna are we gonna go? Ah, oh, right. Okay. So we go F4. Yeah, but then knight D3 check. D3 takes and knight C6. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that looks good. But then it's okay. Takes that one. That's all right. We take with the bishop. I think. And our king should be pretty safe on f2. Oh, he hasn't. That's interesting as well. That's not bad, though. I like that. That bishop on a6 isn't that great, is it? No. Black should. I reckon black should probably just keep that bishop, go back to g7. Oh, well, Sonia is saying he's got a couple of your books, John. Oh, only a couple. <laughs> only a couple? <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which ones, Sonia? He needs to remember them now. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, I was hoping he'd swap queens. Because this is just a nice position for white, isn't it? Maybe we can we actually use our king actively, go to d2 and then e3. and Yeah. And we've got this past a pawn. The pawn, the rook can go to h1. The bishop's great on c6. This is looking really nice. The black rook's doing nothing. The black bishop on a6. Yeah. Aren't we nearly, we're nearly winning that night, aren't we? It's, it's, it's true. This plan is nice. Yeah. I mean, black can go knight f6. Our king out, yeah. Yeah. But even if we just sort of go rook a1, knight f6, and then uh, rook h8, rook f8. Oh, yeah. I just, don't see, I just don't see what black's doing at all. Ah, black can maybe go... Uh, oh, it's gone rook h1. Maybe black can go e6, but then but then rook h7. Oh, okay, it's gone e5. Takes, takes knight d7. Knight g4. Yeah, I definitely preferred rook. I just preferred rook mm -hmm. h8 to f8 because this is slightly more unclear now. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, the rook having to defend the pawns not quite what we wanted, is it? Uh, still, it still looks good. Yeah, because these are still a bit off. Yeah, line. bishop b7. That's a good move. That okay. bishop was just such a bad piece. Um, that's what. Sometimes when uh, sort of players are down on uh, pawn, they, they feel like they, they mustn't exchange pieces, but it's still always good to just simply exchange off your worst pieces for your opponent's good ones. doesn't matter what the situation is. Oh, that's an interesting thing you're saying, John, yes. Yeah, sometimes when players like a pawn down, they think, oh, I mustn't exchange pieces, but, you know, they, they always see them as like fair trades. mustn't do any fair trades if I'm down. But in mm. fact, that's not a fair trade. Black was exchanging off a bad bishop for a good one. So it's kind of like he's gained from that, basically. <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, notwithstanding the fact that rookie four wins a pawn, of course, but apart from that. Other than that. <laughs> yeah. So I think F5 is Black's best chance of at least trying to exchange off one more pawn. Yeah. So uh, we should do it on passant. Black takes back with the pawn. Oh, he took with the knight. Okay, we can go rook takes e7 check. Why not? Oh, yeah, now this king's stuck at the back rank. Yeah, now that's a much better pawn to win. 
so yeah, yeah. It's really promising isn't it for white yeah so knight takes d5 rook e5 okay this is still promising but not quite as rook, rook e, uh yeah let's defend yeah rook g4 yeah okay black's got some drawing chances now it, or, or it probably still should be winning for white but it's not quite as clear cut For example, king b4, yeah. black can go c3 check and then take on a4. Yeah. Yeah. I think I think we need we should probably go king, king b4 anyway now though. And just swap that pawn. Well, yeah, we don't really want to allow king c5 and then rook g3 check. It feels like we're going backwards then. Yeah. Yeah, I like that move. I'm not quite sure how we make progress though. Any ideas? Well, maybe rook f6 because the black king has to go back. Yeah, rook f6 go backwards. Benny's threatening rook takes g2. Yeah. Oh, that's a good move. We're just going to go rook takes c4. That's a very good move. Yeah, rook takes c4. Rook takes b2. Yeah. Rook takes g2 rather and then um, b3. Three. Yeah. And then we put our rook behind their pawn and then just march our king and our pawns up. That's very good play. So king b5 and then b4 next move. Oh, yeah. Even better. Yeah. Yeah. This is nice. And then b, just b4. b4 a5. Yeah. yeah. A5. Yeah. This is good. Well, we must. Yeah. A6, yeah. Well, it's good that he doesn't go. King B6 would be a mistake, although probably it wouldn't matter here, basically. But um, yeah, well, we can take on a G2. Yeah. Oh, well, this is good enough. This is Queen A7 check. Oops. Oh well. Okay. <laughs> um. Yeah, that's good. There's no check. Queen takes G2. Now take on G2 check. Yeah. yeah. Okay. This is yeah. going to be. A I'm going to. Okay. Excellent. Games, but well played. That was a very nice game. Yes. Nice. Okay. We are in seventh. Let's check back in on Atomrod. Not playing at the moment. Standbad is double berserking. Oh, amazing. This is crazy complicated again, isn't it? Just we join it and it's just like yeah, capture yeah. after capture. I mean, there's no way for me to make any assessment. Slow down. <laughs> <laughs> So what's going on? Actually, we're just a rook down, aren't we? Oh, we are. Yeah. I'm fairly confident that's the case. Yes. So any, cha any, cha oh, any, cha any swindling chances? Doesn't... Probably okay. Not. Unlucky standard. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Up to sixth. Okay, up to sixth. We're in that. Let's uh, let's see, Matthew. Oh, what was this? What do you reckon the opening was? Um. Oh, we've moved our e pawn. They've got rid of no their idea. F e pawns. They've lost their dark square bishop. I don't know how they. Well, they, what they swapped their dark square bishop off for? Must have been our knight, a knight. But I don't know which knight. I don't know how a knight got to h six. Oh. Go on, have a look. Birds. No. Oh, oh D3. Of course it's the same. We should, of course it's the same, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's not good. So this is um, black's a pawn up. Looks good for black, but white's going for it, yeah. Yeah. H yeah. four. Yeah. Right. So how do we? Okay. So going Matthew's going for C four. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. And white is pushing all those pawns. So can in. yeah. So, oh, that's a good move. I was thinking white wants to go H six and break it up, but that, I think um. I don't think white's got anything now. 
So how would you meet H6? Um, Maybe just G6? G6, yeah. Yeah, yeah and now we're going to go for queen, queen B4, queen A3. Just mate on the dark squares. Yeah. D6 is sneaker, isn't it? Because uh, yeah. <laughs> not so obvious. <laughs> not so clear. Yeah. King H1. Are we, are we going to be able to do the King H1, Queen, uh, King A1, Queen A3, Rook B1, and then some sort of Rook A, Rook E6, Queen takes A2? Yeah. Oh, no, the Bishop on E2. That's annoying. The Bishop on E2 defends it. So Matthew's not just, yeah, he's just doing the simple way. This will be mate. Rook B one. Oh, takes takes and then um. Oh, simple. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I was looking at Bishop C one, but this is just easier. Nothing to be done here. No. All right. Oh yeah, he's look like he's resigned. He's resigned. Well Good done. Game, okay. Is Keith, Keith is playing now. Uh -huh. Okay, against um an IM. Oh, Kalantarian. Kalantarian. Do you know Kalantarian? If it might I think I've played an IM called Kalantarian many years ago. If it might well be him. Could well be. Yeah. And these have played before. So actually Kalantarian um is three and a half, one and a half up against Keith. Okay. Um, it looks like they've had a draw today. Oh, is that is that how do you work that out? They had a draw today. Yeah, that's, the, that's the they have this little. Oh spot. yeah, the, yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, Kantaran's a piece up. Piece, piece down. We're piece down. Yeah. 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 All right. So it's going to be tricky. It is. Okay, we'll switch games and check back in on Keith very shortly. Um, okay, what about uh, mouse slip? I don't think we've seen mouse, any mouse slips games today. Mm -hmm. Mouse slips today. Okay, this looks like a London system. Yeah. And mouse slips played a yeah, he's played a clever idea just a very early night h five before White could play h three. So the idea of taking off this bishop, I guess. Yeah, and the thing is, I guess we don't have to actually rush now. Can just leave that knight on h5 until we're forced to take it yeah so white um oh white right, play this oh, oh. Go. okay yeah that's good that's He's gonna queen go. side. Queen side. yeah that hopefully you'll do that that'd be fun <laughs> um. okay he's gone king side yeah and then he takes on g3. So that basically after h takes g3, there's no like, rook on h1. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so what do we do? Do we go d5 sort of French style or do we just sort of take on... Okay. The other... I thought he might take on uh, d4 first before doing all that because now our knight on d7 is not that good. Whereas if we'd have taken off the pawns first, we'd have knight c5. Yes. Yeah. It's a knight. Maybe I can go to f8 and act as just a good defensive piece. Yeah, there's no checkmate, is there, when you've got your knight on you know, it? You know the phrase, don't you? No, there's no <laughs> mate with a knight on f8. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's quite a few of those, isn't there? <laughs> with a knight on e5, your position's alive. Oh, is that right? Go on then. Yeah, that's that's yeah. that's from the Sicilian. Basically, when White sort goes f five too early and Black gets a knight on e uh, outpost on e five, basically, um, you could probably say that about numerous squares. <laughs> <laughs> as long Anything as it ends in a five. <laughs> yeah, exactly. With the knight on f five, your position's alive. <laughs> <laughs> the knight on a eight, your position's not great. <laughs> oh very good. Did you just make that one up? <laughs> <laughs> so um 
okay, this is pretty solid. And maybe what we can do is hopefully sort of slowly expand on the queen side. Maybe a6, b5, c4 to give that bishop yeah. some space. Yeah. I'll probably swap queens. Swap off. Go for the end yeah. game. Yeah, and then ta that e pawn on e5 is a little bit weak. Yeah, and we've got these bishops, so. Yeah. That's pretty nice. So maybe sort of knight d7, then sort of g5, bishop f8, bishop g7. Yeah. Really, really. Try and try and do something. Yeah, knight e knight d7, bishop b5 is a bit annoying though. Oh, that actually we can obviously just take on e4 though, can't we? Oh yeah. Yeah, sorry. We we'll actually we'll take on e5 first and then take on e4. So. Yeah, I quite like knight d7. And if knight d6, we can probably go knight takes e5. Oh, he's done it. So knight takes e5, then if he takes this bishop, we take that bishop. Yeah, we've won a pawn, and then knight on b7 is not what rhymes with... That's a poor piece on b7, so what rhymes with that? It's... Not in heaven. <laughs> not in heaven. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my word, actually. He didn't do it. Oh, so, okay, actually, yeah, but now, actually, um, I was but just thinking, actually... That one. Yeah, but even so, actually, with the bishop on c6, um, knight... Knight c8 would have been a good answer to knight takes e5, but anyway, wouldn't it? Um, no, not quite. No, knight takes f3 check we could do then, can we? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we missed the chance, but why is just taking a pawn? So we've got to take on f3 and take the other pawn, yeah? Yeah. Okay. So what's this looking like? Bishop e2 to defend both pieces? And how do we... What's this looking like? I suppose we can get our king out. Yep. So white has more pawns on the queen side. Yeah, it feels, um, I don't know, it feels just a little bit better for white now because just this chance of sort of going, of getting creating an outside past a pawn eventually. Yeah. Yeah, but it's a long way to go. I mean, obviously, um, what mouse slip should be, he's done it, doing it, is try to just expand on the king side, get as much space on the king side as possible. Yeah, well, because he's got the more pawns there. Yeah, exactly, just, yeah, exactly, yeah, we've got to try and use our advantage. Hmm. He's just off the oh, draw. Cool. Draw off Fair enough. Draw accepted. Yeah. <laughs> Fine. Jolly good. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Let's uh, check in on Wilson. Yeah, no, he's not playing right in a second. Check in on Keith. Yeah. Keith just started, doesn't he? Oh, gosh. Against um, uh, Simon McCutcheon. <laughs> <laughs> The McCutcheon variation. Oh, the <laughs> but this was what a Caracan. No, it wasn't okay. some some sort of one of Keith's sort of B three. I yeah. Um, Funny thing is that Keith often plays B five himself in these lines. So the pen's doing what he. Okay, no, Keith's black, right? Oh yeah, well there you go. That's why then, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> but he often plays it and he's playing it here. So, okay. So it's a similar sort of pawn formation to that sort of Trompovsky we were looking at earlier, where Black's got these um, four pawns on the yeah. H, G, and F files. But the, the the difference here is that Black's got some pawn play with C5, but Knight A7 is a good move. Come to C6. Oh, yeah, that's C6 square. Yeah, Knight B8, that's. Yeah, that's <laughs> what you want to do. Very clever. No, but you know, it's quite clever though, because now he didn't want to allow knight c6. Now, of course, the, the knight has to move, and then the other knight can come out again. True. Yeah. And actually, so you could go like queen, <laughs> queen b6. Yeah. So with a knight on b8, you know. <laughs> that knight on a7 might get trapped. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. He's having a bit of a thing. He might have to go knight db5 so the knights are protecting each other. Oh, no, knight c8. That's great. What What happened there? He, he went knight c8 because this bishop's on, you see. Oh, yeah. That's really clever. Like, yeah. That's this great. Yeah. <laughs> and we do actually, that's a really clever move. We do actually force the exchange of the bishop on e7, yeah? Yes. So takes, takes. He's got to surely he's got to he's got to take now on e7, yeah. He's going to take, otherwise the knight really is trapped. What are you thinking about? Am I missing something? I suppose. 
No, he has to just take. Yeah, and then you can go queen a3, I guess, after that. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, knight, knight, okay, knight b5, yeah. Queen a3, knight d7 was okay for black, but knight b5. Okay. So what's, how's, yeah, I think the knight might be key, it may be home to good knight to get to b4. I think probably Keith's going to have to take that now. He's going to be, he's going to be definitely a bit worse, isn't he? Knight takes. If if yeah. Keith swaps, then Queen comes to d4. Okay. okay. Yeah. Knight c6, Bishop c6 is okay. Knight c6, yeah, that's a good move. Then Queen d4. Okay, so this is going to be a bit of a grind for Keith to this. Mind you, will be he won't mind it too much, will he? No, I'm. A, I, I wouldn't really fancy playing this as black. No, because it's the, the pawn. Restriction. Yeah, and the other problem is the f6 pawn's a second weakness. I see. Yeah. Yeah. So you know, if, I mean, um, White can even go b5 here, and then rook b1. If he takes Whatever. yeah that pin so probably Keith will have to move his bishop back he's yeah. done it uh, bishop d7 oh he's taken it so rook b1 what, what are we missing is there some is he going to get out the exchange no. oh maybe yeah maybe he is maybe that's a good idea he's yes. done it yeah. Okay. And then why? Yeah. Okay. That's. I reckon that's a good a good try by Keith. Yeah. Rook b six. Queen. We have to keep defending, don't we? Oh. Yeah. Queen e five might. That'd be some chance to draw that. Yeah. This is okay. Oh. Going around the back. <laughs> oh gosh, Queen of Eight's coming in. Yeah. Well, that's a bit scary. It is. That's a good move, Queen C5. Yeah, that's very good. So F5, he just goes Queen F8, check King F6, Queen H8, and takes our H pawn. Oh. G5. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, so we've got to hope to rest somewhere. On h6, yeah. Probably we're going to drop f7, though. Because. Yeah, a queen, well, eventually queen f8 check and then king g6, rook f7, rook e7. Yeah. I think h3 was just a very sensible move to avoid any back rank tricks, but I thought queen f8 check here is king g6, rook b7. Where's he going? Is he stopping, stopping us going d4, d4 maybe? Yeah. Oh, we... oh, we've got threatening perpetual. Not quite a perpetual, but certainly no. threatening to force some weaknesses in white's king. Yeah. Yeah. Queen f. Oh, what was he doing? Queen f7. They were surely just winning. Yeah. Oh no, he had to defend his rook. Sorry, silly me. Okay. Oh, yeah, that was a good piece of play by White. He just managed to win the d d five. Uh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, let's see. We're in seventh, so we're out of relegation zone again. Let's check. Who have we not seen recently? Uh, let's. Have we seen Theo recently? No, let's see. He's, he's, on, he's on fire. Let's do it. Yeah, against yeah. Death Counter. Okay. Okay. Would you reckon some sort of King's Indian, probably? Yes. Yeah. Theo does Knight F3, does he move one? I'm making that up a bit. Uh, no, E4. No, it's E4. <laughs> oh, it's completely different. Oh, but it turned into some sort of King's Indian, yeah. Yes. 
Okay. C6 is an interesting move. And normally yeah. White, normally, White would, yeah. Yeah, no, normally White would want to kind of open up the position on the side he's got the advantage. Or at least keep the tension. Yeah. Um, Because White can't really use the C file now. And White's only chance of actually doing anything on the um, Queen side would be by the A file now. I guess his idea is to try and restrict this, the, the bishop, isn't it? Yeah. But the this bishop can actually can come out this way. Can come out, yeah. Yeah, or I mean, more more typically, know. more typically, White would just take on d6 and try and get something going on the c file. Yeah, yeah. Um, now you say it, that looks quite good because. Uh, yeah, I mean, maybe White always have to worry about the d5 pawn, but I guess he has to worry about the d5 pawn anyway. Now it might be, but Bishop takes e7. I think White should do and try and uh, simplify the position so he ends up with a, a bishop, a knight versus a bad bishop on g7. Yeah, that's a good move. Well, if anything else, because White needs to, we need to defend our pawn, don't we? On d5. Yeah. Can we go? Oh, oh, yeah. He wants to go knight g5. Yes, and come in on e6. That's nice. Yeah, maybe Black will go h6 to stop that. Rook f4. That's a good move as well. So, queen somewhere, and then e4. Ooh. Oh no, okay, but then knight g5. Because they say a queen and knight's good, isn't it? Against Yeah, let's go knight, let's go knight g5. They can take our h pawn, but we get our knight to e6. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's a good swap. We've got to go knight g5 anyway, haven't we? Oh, he's not actually threatened to take on f3 with his pawn. Rook e1, okay. okay. I'm nervous now, though, because of rook f8. And when our knight moves, then f2 drops. Yes. So even though we're not actually threatening to take... He's not threatening to... Eventually, he will be threatening to take it, won't he? What's why I got after rook f8? Am I missing something? Or queen f7? But now knight g5? That's come to a tempo now. Very nice there. Oh, D5. Okay, D5 drops. We can take on... Uh, yeah, that's a good move. I, I like G3. That's an excellent move. Kicking the kicking it away, then we can take on E4. Yeah. Yeah, very nice. And then Knight takes E4. Are we worried about a pin? Oh, no, Knight, knight F6 check will win then. But uh, we, he's going to take on B5. He's greedily trying to take all his pawns. Can we then mm -hmm. take on Can we then take on D6 and go C7? Ooh. Oh, he's taking with the queen anyway. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now, the, but now the queen swap and rook takes, rook takes B5. Yeah. Then maybe we can come in. Rook E7. Yeah. E7. That's what we're, yeah, exactly. That's what we're going to go for. Yeah. Yeah, Black had to swap really, so he couldn't keep the queens on with our with his king so weak. So um, knight e six anyway, or rook e seven? Yeah, yeah. Rook rook c eight. Rook this, is, this is pretty good, right? Uh, yeah, rook f seven is clever move, but we go rook e one, rook f eight, f four, f four, yeah, yeah. And then it's going to be interesting. He'll be able to be swapping everything off. Yeah, we can actually we could. Oh uh, yeah, we'll go rook d seven. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Rook d7, king f8. Eight, eight. Then rook, rook d8, check, and rook a8. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's done, done it. it. We could have done rook d7 with the rooks on, with the other rook on, actually. That would have been yes. quite interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just looking at that yeah. one. Then. So can we go rook c8? Oh, he goes king e6. So we'll go, we'll go rook a8. Okay, it's not such... I mean, it's not the, the most brilliant pawn to win, but it is a pawn, Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, his king's getting active. That's what I feared. King c5, yeah. Okay, we've won a pawn, but black's king is well placed. We just have to get our king in now. We our king in. Yeah, king f2. Rook e7, good move. Do we play a... A4, I thought, rook maybe, yeah. Rook, yeah. Yeah. But mind you, at least our rook is protected, but I guess he's threatening d3 now. Okay, yeah, I like that move. F5, unless he can go... 
Oh, F6 with a protected passport. Yeah, F6. Done it. If he goes, if he goes D2, we take his rook. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I think last move, Black should have gone, um, he should have swapped on F5 and gone rookie 5 Instead of going D3. Yeah. That, that pawn on F6 is a strong pawn. I haven't said that. Uh, he's still... Oh, because we... Yeah, he, can, he could conceivably go D2 now, couldn't he? So what do we do? Rook B1? Or... F7. Yeah. F7 because oh, no, it queens with check. Check, yeah. Yeah, rook b1, rook e1, unfortunately. And I'm not liking our position. No, no. Yeah. yeah. Uh, unlucky there. That was that was a that was a good end game by both players, actually. I think yeah. you know that was a really interesting game. All right. We are still in seventh. Um, let's check in on Matthew playing Berserk against I am Tritarov. Uh, okay, Matthew's a pawn down, but his position looks he's a pawn, it'll be another gambit, right? Yeah, but his position looks very pleasant actually. Yeah, it doesn't feel like he's a pawn down, but he is. What do you reckon it was? Elephant. What was it? I know it's this one again. England. It's the England, but it's England declined. England declined. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you shouldn't decline the England. Probably it's not. It's not the critical um, attempt. <laughs> <laughs> actually, I've, I don't think I've actually seen the England declined actually in a game yet. So. It's... <laughs> Okay. Oh, this is. Oh, we just. Ooh, 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 that, was, that, was, that was nice, wasn't it? And he's won already. Okay. Yeah, and G3 was, yeah, quite yeah. accommodating. Okay. So now, how are we doing? We are now up to six. Um, and what about the scores overall? So, in the lead overall is. Tata Saha. Um, and we've got in the top 10, we have Matthew in sixth and Keith in eighth. Um, but I'll tell you what, all these Yerevan Chess Federation mm, friends I are that, yeah. in the top They've spot. also got a very strong team. They do. They do. Okay. Who haven't we seen? We haven't seen Netley. Netley? Have we? Let's see Netley. Netley against Talent Schmieder. Okay, this is good. I mean, it's quite equal. It's equal um, on material, isn't it? Hmm. Uh, maybe we can attack White's king. Yeah, I mean, we could come right in with queen a3, couldn't we, at some point? Yeah, I mean, that was certainly possible even last move, yeah. Now, now we should. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. And then we've got A2 coming up. This is going to be strong. Yeah. In fact, isn't this just... Oh, it's going to see King C3. We can check and then A5. Oh, yeah. Maybe C5. A5. A5, King... We've got like... King, 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 A, King A3, yeah. Yeah. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. So, what about maybe a four? A four, yeah. Threatening rook takes e five. Oh, that's nice, John. Deflecting. Oh, queen d three. Yeah, that's not what I'd have done. Not what I wanted. When we're going for mate, basically, we're not the queen swap. Hello, Macbeth. Has it been a tough, a tough old battle? <laughs> 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 yeah, I can imagine it's a tough tournament. That's, yeah, I and mean, that's quite a good example again of um, we swapped queens there when we're because we're maybe because we're a pawn up, but in fact, again, 
you should look at the king safety. Yeah. Oh, because white's king's very active, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, exactly. Because basically, well, basically, a weak king when the queens are on becomes an active oh, yeah, king when the kings are off. Still looking at mate possibilities, but bishop, you know, <laughs> <laughs> mate for both sides. Yeah, I think we need to start using our king g five, king g seven. Oh yes. Okay. Yeah, Ooh. that's that's interesting. Yeah, getting the two pawns. Gosh, yes. I hadn't thought of that. Yeah, suddenly our rook's not looking so great. No, it hasn't been G five to give it a square. G five. <laughs> <laughs> but those pawns are still pretty fearsome, aren't they? They are. Well, our hope is to sacrifice our bishop for two pawns. <laughs> that's our our hope. We've got to go G five now, yeah. Yeah. Unless bishop D seven. That just doesn't look right. Oh, rookie eight. Okay, are we are we just on those pawns just promoting? Rookie eight d seven, and then e seven. Yeah. Well, that was well done by um, talent Schmieder. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right. Seventh place. Uh, let's see. Um, Stamper playing? No. Richie A. I don't think we've seen. Let's see. Richie A. Oh. Oh, I like that move. King H7. Just blocking oh, yeah. that pawn. Using, using White's H pawn as a defensive piece ourselves. This looks yeah, because now like, we can attack on the queen side, can't we? Yeah, basically, I don't think I don't really see any attack for white, and that bishop on e five is a brilliant piece. Mm. And um, you know, bishop e five, your position's alive. Exactly. Yeah. Well, then also, um, I mean, there's not really a great deal that white can do against sort of a five, a four, or c five, c four. Well, Sonia says perhaps he should have been attacking with one e four. Yes. <laughs> and Rebecca, I think Matt has drunk his wine. I think he was drinking his English wines a little bit earlier. And now he's playing the England gambit. <laughs> when you drink wine, the, the A becomes a U, doesn't it? And you get the England gambit. England gambit, yeah. <laughs> was England... Do you ever, if you ever had drunk wine before playing, and how does it do you? Still play okay, or does it affect your game? Um, is that you mean to me? You mean? Mm. Um, I can't. I don't really drink much wine anyway. No. So no, I can't remember the last time I drank wine before playing. No, I don't drink no. before playing. If I could possibly help it. So what's white? Is can you see any possible idea for white? Yeah. Some sort of bishop takes f7. Yeah, I'm now looking at the ideas for black. Well, yeah, yeah of course. Yeah, I mean, I'd be going. I'd be going a4 anyway, probably. Because black's now threatening. Oh, uh, that's nice. Bishop 2 and then bishop f4. Yeah, if the if the knight moves, we'd go bishop f4. Yeah. And if the knight's defended, we take it and then go bishop f4. So he's going to have to That's defend. With, he's he's going to have to defend it with his with queen, queen. Or, go, or go c4. But that looks really ugly, doesn't it? Yeah. Then a4 probably is going. Yeah, to that looks terrible. <laughs> oh, he's missed it. No, has he missed it? No, he's not. That's a good move. He, he wants yeah. to go um, queen e5, but we can just. We can. Oh, yeah. and we can't take on h5 because. That's uh, a clever queen. move. Queen e5 threatens mate on g7 as well. So mm. we have to just maybe be calm here and go something really calm, like, for example, rook b5, threatening bishop b2 check. Oh, that's a good move. Mine, I haven't said that. That blocks the bishop. So maybe just something like, yeah, rook e8, that's yeah, better. Yeah. 
So we're still threatening bishop takes e2. His rook's now uh, like attacked on h5 in certain yeah. lines. And he's only yeah, that's a really back. calm move. Rook e8. That's nice, nice, calm, yeah. under control, Rich. Then, now just, then just take, take, take the knight. Take the knight. Take the knight. Yeah. Very good, Richie. Maybe Bishop B five and A four. Although White will go A four, maybe. Oh, maybe. Yeah, Rook B eight. Just anything really. Mm. Oh, and the Queen can come in there. Queen d4. Oh, threatening queen a1, right? Rook h1. Rook b3 probably would have won with rook b8 check. Yeah, nice. And queen a1. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. nice. Game. Yeah, good, game. Yeah. good game. Good game. Okay. We're up to fifth. Up Ooh, to fifth. That's, okay. the, that's the best we've been for quite a while, isn't it? Let's see, Keith. Uh, Ooh. So Black's just gone, what, Bishop from G7 to F8, maybe? Yeah. So now Keith's playing a very strong player here now, Odorovsky. Yeah. I'm going to show just quickly see the opening moves. Yeah. Slav. Going for this bishop, and that's how we got all these pieces in there. I wonder if Black could have gone f6 and like win the bishop, but anyway, that's for another, another time. White's obviously getting compensation, so yeah, this is how we got the position knight f7, yeah. rook out g8. Okay, so what did Keith play? Took and then bishop h5, it's kind of untangling, yeah. Oh, I'm wondering how much of this was actually theory. So he's got, yeah, I don't know. So, okay, so, right, so this is interesting. So, obviously, White's got rook f1 ideas. Yes. And knight d, a king e7, knight d6, or king g7, knight e5, maybe. Um, bishop a6 happens here, but we just go king c3, I guess. Oh, he's going to try to double his rooks. Yeah. He's going to try and swap. Yeah. Was it really that dangerous? Maybe it was dangerous for us. I was, I was wondering whether we can go rook f1 and sort of try and do something ourselves, but maybe we didn't have anything. Okay. Well. Yeah. Okay. That bishop on f8 is not the best of pieces. Yeah. Um. Well, what do we do after bishop e7? So, oh. Let's just oh. have that. King G5. I, I thought Black didn't. I didn't think Black needed to do that. Was I missing something? I, was, I mean, okay. He... So, can we save yeah. one? I'm not sure we can save one, but we can always go Knight F7, check King H5, Knight D, Knight E5, and our Knight's a really strong piece. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then you know, take you know, yeah. There's so many things happening there, but maybe you'd go Bishop B5. Um, maybe we can't actually save it. Rook H8, he takes our bishop anyway, and aren't we going to have to do the same thing anyhow? Oh, this way. Oh, Keith's going to take on H4, maybe. Yeah, I prefer the old putting the knot on E5. Yeah. But So Rook H2, what's happening? Knight G6 with a knight on H8. <laughs> no, position, eight, eight. Our position's great. Position's great, yeah. Yeah, so, you know, it does still get to e5. It does. So king f3, king d2, yeah. And then and then black or trump pushes pawn, a pawn. Yeah. I mean obviously uh, black's a pawn up. Does that mean Yeah. It, it feels like it should be very good for black because, okay, the knight gets to e5, but then he's just going to start pushing his pawn. 
Yeah. Well, now I can check them when on C6. Ah, ah, yeah. Okay, maybe he should have gone bishop b. He should have gone bishop b5, shouldn't he? Why did he put his bishop yeah. on them? Um, yeah, this is all right. I think I quite like it now. Oh, yeah. Because we can put, just put our knight back. Yeah. So, how's the king and pawn ending? So king takes e3, c6. Can we take one? Can we take on um, c4 and then c6? Oh, I can't wait it out quickly yeah. enough. <laughs> okay, just um, I need to go actually just for a second. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. So if um. So Black's got to try and go with this one to, to, yeah. And then what? So if we um, go c7, check, take on a2, we queen first, but um, interesting. Yes, okay. I would think this should be a draw. Yeah, draw. Well done, Keith. And let's check in also. Oh, we're up to third. Very good English chess players. Let's check in on um, uh, Matthew's not playing right now. Uh, let's check in on Nigel ST. Uh, so this is Nigel Towers is playing white here. Oh, gosh, against a 2496. Uh, let's see this opening. So this was a caracan. Exchange. Okay. Nigel is attacking on the H file. Oh, sacrifice. So what's the idea here? If um, takes, so what are we going to do? Check on h1 and then take on c3 maybe. But I think black can block this way. So now what's Nigel going to do? What's the plan? Oh, maybe like knight b5. Um, blocking that square. Maybe he's just going to actually just come back here and then try for that and also try for that. Okay. Well, I can't see a mate, so maybe that rook sack hasn't quite worked out. Let's see. We've got just nine minutes left. Let's see how we are doing. Uh, we are in fourth place. Very good. Um, and let's see Matthew's game. Uh, so this is another England gambit. And uh, yeah, whites going for an attack here. So that knight is threatened on e5. Defended. Okay, so this is the current position, which looks to me a little bit scary. Oh, but this is a big counterattack because now. Um, that's threatening the queen and also hoping for plans on h2. But this, um, I would say this isn't working for Matthew because uh, 
of the material. Yes, Queen for Rook. But can he bluff with those bishops coming down? No, not this time. Okay, and so let's see. We haven't seen Henny Penny yet. Shall we see Henny Penny? Henny Penny is playing Gavon. Quick look at the opening moves. Popovsky. Okay, and Henny Penny is lining up against the king side. And and actually threatening uh, knight takes h7 because if you get if you get that in you could do does that work you could do a kind of queen in or a knight f6 uncovering a doubled attack like does defend We're finishing like a train, says Wilsonia. We are, we're, we're right in there. Okay, I'm gonna go back and uh, see how we're doing. Six minutes left only and, oh, we're in, we're up to fourth place. Up to fourth place now. Uh, let's see. Actually, we haven't seen Mike Bear, who is on a streak. Let's have, oh, Mike Bear's not playing right. Second. Um, Jensen. So Jensen here, we've got a opposite side casting, it's going to be looking like. And I think, well, both sides developing. Um, Jerry McQuay has an Hello there. Is this, uh, is this John Ems' students? Hi there. Who's Hello. that? Uh, I'm, I'm Dan. I'm John's son. Um, John has currently okay. gone to, to drive my mum to hospital at the moment. Oh, so my goodness. Sure. Is she okay? Yeah, she was carrying a bin and uh, sort of collapsed and has possibly hurt a disc in her lower back. So. Oh, poor thing. Okay. I'm... Um, I'm not sure how long my dad's going to be out for. Just, no, just to let you know, is, is what's happening. Okay. Well, we, let's. Uh, John, I'll, I'll switch John off the stream then. Uh, send my really very best wishes. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank I, you. I, Big I thank really... you to John. Okay. Gosh, that's drama off the chessboard. Um, okay, we've just got five minutes left here. Best, best wishes. Yeah. Thanks, Wilsonia. Um, okay, let's check in again on Keith. And we have um, we have that same pawn structure that Keith likes, his, uh, his Carlsbad pawn structure. Um, and Keith's berserking, um, just bearing in mind, there's only four minutes left of the tournament. Yeah, it's not good. I hope she's fine. Um, we're going to, uh, yes, uh, I'll be in touch with John, obviously, afterwards. But, um, yeah, she's in good hands anyway, with uh, John taking her to hospital. And very best wishes. Okay. Now this deep one is looking a bit dangerous here. Uh, Keith can, he's going, just gonna, gonna swap rooks. Maybe he'll tuck his king away at some point. Going for a counterattack.
Is that queening? That phone's actually queening. It's looking good for Keith, but only 23 seconds left. Oh, well done, Macbeth. Won your last game. Very good. Black has Bishop A4, yeah. Oh, I'll tell you what, Keith's going to get Rook and 4 against Rook and 3, which he's played hundreds of times before. And he knows just what to do, but only 18 seconds. He's making progress. It's all going to be about speed. I think Keith will go for the draw. Yes. Well done, Keith, during that. And there's only, there's less than a minute left of the tournament. Um, okay. And let's see matthew's not playing um let's see whimsical jam it's finished nearly everyone's finished now let's see netley netley playing an im so let's see how this position is okay and so actually netley is material up um against im ibwenop So we've got an extra piece um, for this pawn, this um, A pawn. So looking good for Natalie. And just eight seconds left. I think the game will, will not end um, in time for the arena. Let's see. Okay, it's all over. Um, nice play there by Natalie. And let's see. On the arena, English chess players are fourth. So very respectable uh, result by England. Well done, Macbeth, on winning his last game. Um, in the tournament, we have Matthew in third overall, uh, Keith in ninth. Um, very good performances also from Nigel Towers, actually, on 24 Whimsical Jam, Mouse Slip, Richie A, Wilsonia, Arman, Netley, and Standard. Um, and well played to everyone. There's Ocelot there, uh, Nazriz, Macbeth, um, JT Pats UK, and I can see Decoder there. Hey, it's Swampy. Well done, all the English Jespers. Um, and um, thinking of John and John's wife, um, hoping she's okay, and we'll report back to you uh, next time. But all the best to her. Um, and thank you, everybody, for playing, and thanks all very much for watching. Goodbye.